We are uh, question eight, uh, test three review. Box A has four molecules, and each molecule has an average energy of 50 joules, okay? Box B has 100 molecules. Each one has an average energy of three joules. Which box is hotter, okay? So this is kind of an interesting problem because it kind of goes to the very fundamental question of what is hotness? What is temperature? Okay, what is the definition? What determines which box is hotter? So box A has uh, four molecules. Each molecule has an energy of 50 joules. So um, that energy is in the energy of motion, right? So they're moving back and forth, moving back and forth. Okay, so the energy per molecule is equal to 50 joules. Now, what's the total energy of the box? Total energy, how many molecules do you have? Four of them, right? So four, since each one has 50, that's 200 joules, okay? Box B has how many? A hundred molecules, a lot of them, okay? Each one is three joules, right? Energy per molecule, three joules. So each one is not moving very, very fast, right? But um, uh, the total energy, since there is a uh, hundred, hundred times three, that's 300, okay? So here is the question, which one is hotter, okay? And not only that, if I put them in contact, box A and B, which way will heat flow, right? Heat is the flow of energy from a hotter object to a colder object, right? So, um, well, the unsuspecting person, of course, is gonna say, well, uh, this box has 100 molecules, each one three, 300 joules, it has more total energy. This one, total energy 200, therefore that has more energy, so, a lot of people might say box B is hotter. And since box B is hotter, the direction of the heat flow will be this way, right? Heat will flow from the uh, hotter box to the colder. It ends up being opposite. The what determines the temperature of a system is how much is the average energy per molecule? How fast are they moving, the molecules? This one, even though there's a lot of molecules, they're not moving that fast. Each one on the average is only has an energy of three joules, right? If we keep lowering that energy, keep lowering that energy, go to one joule, 0.1 joule, 0.01 joule, right? We can eventually get those molecules to almost freeze, get it down to freezing point, and the temperature will be zero. Even if the number of molecules is 100, we could still have them standing still, the temperature will be zero. These guys, their average energy per molecule is 50. There's only four of them, but they're still 50. So which one is hotter? Box A, the higher energy per molecule, right? So the answer is box A, okay? Which way will heat flow if we put them in contact? Heat will flow this way. Okay, heat will flow from box A to B until the average energy of the mo per molecule here will equal the average energy per molecule there. So this one will go down to a certain number, then this one will go up to a certain number until the average energy per molecule is the same. So it's got to be somewhere maybe um, you know, most likely what's going to happen, this one is going to go down quite a lot. That one is not gonna be affected a lot because there's a lot of molecules, right? So this one is gonna go way, 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 way down until the average energy goes maybe four joules or five joules, and this one will go from three to four or five, and then their, their final average energy per molecule should be the same, okay? Thank you. So the answer is therefore box A.